Alrighty, what is up everybody? Jay Baker Vlogs here, and welcome to the next episode of A Day in the Life. Well guys, I gotta say, the rain and thunderstorms have ended for the day, and so far we're getting some pretty cloud formations. As you can see, the clouds looking pretty good, and also they are glowing a orange hue so that's pretty nice but anyway it looks pretty nice it's good to come out on an evening walk and yeah there's a lot of standing water on the roads but anyway thought we'd just come on out here enjoy the rest of the evening and yeah, so far baseball is done for this week. San Antonio heads home and they are coming to take on the Wichita Wind Surge. All the way from Wichita, Kansas. But anyway. Gotta say we're gonna talk about houses and this and that. Now. I gotta say, I am really looking forward to getting out of the program soon. But anyway, gotta say, can't wait for that time. Sounds like a great St. Bernard or something. But anyway, <sighs> let me come out. Boy, just look at the cloud formations. Can y'all see that? That is, that is pretty neat. Really nice when you have thunderstorms in the evening and then you get the orange, the orange sky later on. You know, it reminds me of being back in Southwind a young life camp. You know, this is a different kind of south wind. It's not the program south wind. But this type of south wind, you know, you go for a full week, Oklahoma, Florida. And I got to say, it's a pretty nice place. I've been there two times in two years during 2012 and 13. 2012, we got pictures. 2013, I literally had classic video of a four-episode series. And I gotta say, I'm glad I took video and got it taken down to Walgreens. They put it on a desk for me. And well, literally, it was pretty nice when we got that off the VHS tapes. You know, you could take any of your tapes and take them straight to Walgreens and they'll take care of it for you. That's pretty good. But anyway, boy, I gotta say, that is a beautiful sky. Peaceful. You know, really wish I had my dog here with me to enjoy this. You know, guys, the way I look at this organization, Southwind, their motto is called live a life you love, but I say it's live a life you hate, where they just torture you in this and that, and so far they make your life a living hell. So far they've been doing me that way. And so far I really don't show up to their classes, I don't show up to nothing, because they value more of other people besides the people that are not on disability, 
you know. But I gotta say, there are days that I think about this organization and I tell myself, was this really worth getting in here and having to literally just have everything that I had taken away from me? You know, guys, I was happy being with love. I could have said, you know what, I'm not, I'm not leaving here without my dog. You know, if you don't accept my dog, you won't accept me either. I could have put my foot down when all three of us one day went down and I said, look, I don't want to be in an organization where I'm going to be separated from my dog. And I just felt like I didn't like that at all. You know, and I really, I really didn't like it. I don't like it to this day. I miss my dog a lot. I miss being with her a lot. I miss petting her a lot. And... You know, really, I look at it. I look at each and every day. You know, I really think that I should have deserved having her around. And clearly, I think this organization's a mistake. I will be glad when my time here is done. This organization, they don't respect people. They make $350 a month out of our paychecks that we get from our jobs. And yet, why do I want to pay somebody that could little less afford to help me? This organization sucks. And you know what? I really think that they enjoy giving hell to people. I mean, that's just me in general just saying that. Because you look at it. You know, and I look at it and I think it was a wrong decision. I think... I think this move was a wrong decision. If I was going to be by myself, and I hate being by myself without my dog being here with me. And Southwind, they don't allow dogs. You know, I could have said, hey, you know what? Let me tell y'all something. If you don't allow my dog to be here, then you might as well just tell me not to be here. Because this organization sucks. You know? I mean, I'm saying it. You know, and they just allow people to get away with murder all the time. They don't even tell the other people, oh, you know, you got to do this, you got to do that. And the one guy that I talk about, the one that doesn't show up to work all the week, he literally has not been fired yet, but I feel like at a certain standpoint, he is getting in to that, to that direction, you know? I hope and pray that my time here is coming to its end because I can't stand people around here. I'm sorry if I am being blunt and negative, but I think I deserve better. You know, and I really think I do. I'm keeping everything in the Lord's hands. I hope my day is coming. Because people around here, they 
you know, you have a lot of people that are on disability. And, you know, it's just stupid. But anyway, you know, and we have one guy that always asks me, oh, is that dog going to bite me? Is that dog going to bite me? I'm like, look, man, I don't know if the dog's going to bite you or not. I can't tell you that. If you make the dog mad, then yeah, it might bite you. Or it might nibble at you. Or I don't know. I don't know what could happen. To be honest with you, I really can't tell you. And he always, he always asked me that same question over and over and over and over again. It just drives me nuts. I can't stand around being around with somebody that just keeps asking me the same question over and over and over again. But, you know, I'm not trying to be negative or anything. You know? But you know what? We're going to change the subject, and I'm going to talk about houses. I think, really, when my time here comes to an end, I cannot wait. I'm going to be super happy that I'm going to find my true place in the world, and I'm going to have what I've always wanted, my own home. And that way, I don't have to put up with a no pet policy. I hate no pet policies. And unlike these apartment complexes that have a no pet policy, I hate that because of them. They're like, oh, you know, it's okay to have no pets around here. Ha, ha, ha. I'm like, look, you have the right to take your dog with you, and you have the right to say, hey, this is my dog, and I'm not leaving without my dog. And, you know, I'd really wish that they, that they would have said yes about that, but really, I just think... They should have said, yeah, you can bring your dog with you. It don't matter if you do or not. But, you know. Well, I got to say, that sun is going down and so is the pretty colors of these clouds. Okay, right, I'm going to... Just gonna come out here and take a look at the beautiful evening. It's nice when we look at days like this. You know guys, forgive me if I was being negative at some point. I'm not trying to be. I just want the best for me and stuff. And really I thought I should have deserved it. But, you know, we all look at it. It was never guaranteed, not with me and Benny. You know? I've lied to y'all about having Benny and stuff. But, you know. Yeah, we'll go ahead and head back to the apartment complex. And, yeah, so far, we're just across the street, walking around, having a good time. We looked at the sunset. It's really starting to get dark out here. And, yeah, nobody coming down from that direction, so it's all clear. Whoa. Gotta look down that direction. But 
Anyway, I hope and pray that things will change soon. When me to be out of this organization and to leave them behind. But anyway, I will say that is that is a pretty sight. You know, and like I said, I'm not trying to be negative or anything. I just wish that my time here would come to an end. I really think I deserve it coming to an end. You know, I mean, I miss my dog a lot. I feel like I want her back already. You know, I feel like every weekend, I feel completely lonely without her. And I really do. But I pray that the good Lord on this journey will bless me with my rightful place. And that is my own home. I would love my own home. I would love to get out of this organization. This organization needs help and you know, they need to be closely investigated because the staff has even yelled at their people. This elderly man, he's like, if you don't like being here, then y'all can get the hell out. That's what he said in a rude voice. You know, and... I really think that this guy is so rude and I need to be careful who I align myself with. I don't align myself with nobody here. Shoot, I think this old guy don't like dogs. This is exactly why I was separated from mine. You know, guys, this organization, I hope it will be over soon. I will keep praying and hoping the Lord will bless me with something great. Because I hope that probably at season three or season four, I may be out of here at some point. Well, that'd be really nice. Boy, the ground sure is smushy. Yeah, but anyway, I'm gonna have mud all over my shoes. But anyway, yeah, we're at. 715 or the 700s. Yeah. But you know, I can't wait for that day. Hopefully that day will come soon. And I won't have to pay Southwind no more money. Because I don't think they deserve it. You know, I thought this organization was going to be good. But when I moved in, I felt like I was treated as a stranger. That's what I feel like. I feel like... You know, they didn't take my picture. They didn't say, oh, you know, we got a new new mover that just moved in one year ago today. Or 
one year ago, August 28th. But, yeah, that's fine. I don't need a picture. I don't need their, their stupidity. But, anyway. I got to say, this walk was pretty good. The sunset was pretty. You know, I got to say, when I get my house, I'm going to have a dog. I'm going to adopt a dog. I may get another German Shepherd or I might have a choice of St. Bernard. But you guys want that St. Bernard series so bad. But anyway, it's going to be a wish granted. I'm going to say. Boy, it was beautiful sunset. It was the first one that we've had actually seen while being here. It's beautiful just to come out and talk to you guys, you know. You know, and I gotta say, when I feel lonely, I just feel like I want my dog and I would love to have her with me. And I know my dad ain't going to say yes to that. He's going to say, you know, Jonathan, I'm sorry, but you can't have your dog there because you're not there. You're not there most of the time. You know, and Just pray for cryptocurrency, too. I pray that Sheba will go up, Bitcoin's going up, all the coins in the organization look like they're going to go up soon. You know, and got to say that's why we need Trump in office. We need him to raise up the cryptocurrencies. And so far, a lot of other things as well. I hope and pray that things will go good in 2024. The remainder of this year, I hope it goes good. Because in the end, I'm going to give my year-end review. Like I did the last one. I'm going to say, oh, you know, this happened, that happened. Was it a great year? I guess it was. I don't know. But I'm going to scale it from a scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to be like, okay. So, uh, I got to say, if I scale it from 1 to 10 and give it just like a random number between those two numbers, could be down, up, lower. I don't know. But... Have to wait and find out and see what happens next. But anyway, uh, man, we got up to almost 24 minutes in this last episode of the week. Gotta say, it was pretty nice to come out and do these. And so far, I think this will be our fourth episode in this one. But anyway... It was, it was a great night. It's starting to turn out to be a beautiful night. We had the sunset. Just beautiful. I know, but I will keep praying and put everything in the Lord's hands. He'll work things out. I hope he can work a miracle for me. It's been bad for three years. It's been bad since I entrusted a jerk like Benny to take my damn money. You know? I know I say I forgive him, but do I really mean it? You know? Oh, man. He's out there. Okay. Yeah. But anyway, 
Well. Yeah. Well, guys, this will just be about the end of our walk here. And for the last episode of this week, we'll see you all again next week. So for all of us, we'll see you all soon next weekend. Goodbye.